Hello everyone, I'm Sarah with the Pioneer Library System and welcome to another episode of Virtual Family Art Time. In today's activity, we are going to do something called peaceful paint blowing. In this activity, we will be using paint and our own breath to make beautiful works of art. So let's go ahead and get started. For this project, you will need washable paint, water, paper or canvas, a plain drinking straw, some craft sticks for mixing your paint, a tray or baking sheet, plastic cups to mix your paint in, and a plastic tablecloth or newspaper to cover your work area. Step 1. Make sure to cover your work area. Step 2. Mixing the paint. To start, we need to grab our plastic cups. You'll need a cup for each color of paint that you are planning to use. You will need to fill each cup with equal amounts of paint and water. For example, if you use a fourth a cup of paint, then you'll need to add a fourth a cup of water. You can use whatever colors that you'd like. I'm going to use the three primary colors of yellow, red, and blue. Primary colors are colors that cannot be made by mixing other colors together. Next, we are going to add an equal amount of water to our paint. Then, we will stir our paint and water mixture so that it is nice, smooth, and liquidy, and the water and paint are combined completely. This will ensure that our paint will pour smoothly and our colors will mix easily when we do our project. Step 3. Pouring the paint. For this next step, you will need a tray or a baking sheet with a lip on it, or you will need a blank canvas. The instructions and process is nearly the same for both, but the end result is very different. So I would recommend you try both if you are able to. Now comes the fun part. Pick one of your colors of paint and gently pour it on your tray. If you are using a blank canvas, then pour the paint directly onto the canvas. When you are ready, pick another color, it doesn't matter which, and gently pour that color onto your tray. You can pour it on top of the paint that's already there, or you can pour it next to it or through it. This is your project and there's no wrong way of painting. You cannot fail this, lovelies, so pour however your heart desires. Focus on how you are pouring the paint. Look at how the colors swirl together. This is a great activity to do if you are having a terrible, awful, no good, bad day. If you are angry or sad or just unhappy, I want you to imagine all of those icky feelings going into your paint and just pour all of them onto your tray. Get them out of your head and let go of all those unhappy thoughts. Step 4. Using the straw to blow the paint. Once you are done pouring your paint, you will need to grab your straw. Hold the straw close to the paint, but not touching it. Then you will need to take a nice, deep breath and blow slowly through the straw. What happens when you do this? Does the paint move? Try blowing one color into another. What happens? Does the paint change colors? 
How does using your breath in this way make you feel? Deep breathing is a wonderful exercise for children to learn that can help them control their emotions and help reduce anxiety. Using your straw and your breath, blow your paint in around your tray. Be sure to take a nice, deep, slow breaths. If you try to breathe too quickly, you could give yourself a headache. For those of you using canvas, once you have your paint the way you want it, you are now done, so set your project aside to dry. If you are using a tray and you would like to save your masterpiece, keep watching for instructions. Step 5. Saving your masterpiece. Once you have your paint the way that you like it and would like to capture your masterpiece to save, then with the help from your adult, take a nice thick piece of paper and gently lay it down on the surface of your painting. Then, very carefully, lift the paper up and flip it over to the non-paint side and set it aside on some newspaper to dry. Here are some examples of completed projects. See how different the tray and paper process turned out compared to the canvas process? Please remember that your masterpiece will not and should not look exactly like these examples. There is no wrong way to make art. Each piece is as unique as the individual that created it. Thank you so much for joining me for another virtual family art time. I hope you had a chance to relax, make some beautiful art, and most importantly, have fun. If you would like to learn more about painting, art in general, or some more stress relieving techniques, the library has lots of information available both in print and online through the library's apps like Overdrive and Hoopla. Please keep tuned for more virtual family art time videos in the future. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!